What's going on everybody? How you doing? In today's video, this is a donation request. This is from Matt. This is Bruce Dickinson. Wow. Bruce and Tribuzi song Tears of the Dragon. This is live. We're going to check this out. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos. Check it out. If you like the channel, you want to support the channel, all kinds of ways. You can hit super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct in the description. I got PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon wishlist, mailing address, and I do donation requests just like this one. So if there's something you want me to listen to, watch, talk about, hit me direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo in the notes section. Leave a link, leave a description. Let me know what you want the video to be on, and I'll make the video. You can also email me at jpanreadsemail at gmail.com. Thank you guys. All right, Matt says, I know you're not a Maiden fan, but there was a time when Bruce Dickinson left Maiden and put out some solo albums. During that time, Maiden hired Blaze Bailey to sing, and they put out two of the weakest albums, while Bruce put out several al albums that I consider to be in my top 10. It's tough to pick a song from his catalog, but I'm going with one of his more popular ones, Tears of the Dragon. I had a tough time picking which version, as there are many. The original acoustic studio, various live, including an acoustic played like on MTV, and some interesting live ones with, with guest musicians. A few more things. Bruce worked very closely with a guitar player named Roy Z on most of his albums. He is the guy playing the funky orange Les Paul with the cowboy hat in this video we're going to check out. Also, he's not playing here, but Adrian Smith from Maiden joined Bruce on some of his best solo albums. Originally, it was another guy named Yannick Gers who went to replace Adrian and Maiden. When Bruce and Adrian returned to Maiden, Yannick also stayed making it a three guitar player band, which is too many, too many guitar players. That is way too many guitar players. Too many. Sorry, if you can't get your your thing across with two, like two max, you don't need more than two guitars. <laughs> that, that's my opinion. Jesus, too many guitar players. This is coming from a bass player, okay? All right, two is enough. Jesus. Okay, the choice in the link, I'll get flamed for sending you this version, but I really enjoy it. <laughs> There's a lot of band members, so the music can sound muffled, and the video is filmed on a potato. But I still like this version and want that damn orange guitar. I strongly suggest listening to the studio version if you find any likable, anything likable about this song. Okay, so we're gonna check this out. When was this from? This is from 2005. Okay, this this live is from 2005. We're gonna do it. All right, Tears of the Dragon. Bam.
This is not for me. 
I am. Yeah, I just. I know that this isn't made in, right? It's Bruce Dickinson, and he does like vocally. You know, he does sound good, right? Like he has a voice, right? It works. It, you know, it sounds like for that whole style, it sounds like he's great. I know that he's like one of those up there vocalists, but I, I just every single Maiden I've heard, I'm not into. It's just not my style of metal that I like. You know, and this, it, I would put in that category of like, no, no, I'm not into this. It doesn't like, first of all, you know, you guys, you hear me, you know, like, oh yeah, nice change, nice change. Everything here was diatonic, which there's nothing wrong with everything being diatonic. What does that mean? It means within the key, right? Like the whole entire course, is just like, you know, I don't know what key this is in, but it's like E to C to G to D. That was the whole thing. Right, the whole like, saying, like, just assuming it's an E, right? If it's an E, the whole thing was E to C to G to D. It's like, okay, that's fine. It's a super, like, common chord progression. Just the, the things that they did with the, with the melody over, it wasn't, it, there was nothing, there was nothing for me to, like, latch onto. There was nothing there for me. I'm, it, there was nothing interesting. I wasn't like, oh, yeah, the solo or the sounds. It just didn't. It's not my style. <laughs> it's just not. I'm just not into it. the gallop kind of thing. I'm a little tough with that. And then they went into some weird like metal reggae or whatever, whatever, whatever that was. That was kind of interesting. That was probably the most interesting part because it was like, oh, what's going on here? Wait a minute. Everything else is just, I don't know. I'm sorry. It's just not for me. <laughs> it's just not. I'm just not into it. It's like not my style at all. I mean, clearly there's people that are really into it. And I know because like I get these people that are on me about Maiden. It's like, yo, I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm not sorry, man. I'm not into Maiden. And everybody thinks that because of the hair, like I'm like some super metal head or something like that. That's not even accurate. Yeah, I mean, I like metal. There's metal that I like, but, I, you know, I'm more than my hair, guys. <laughs> You know, like, I studied jazz. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, it's like part metal, part hippie, part, you know, whatever. Just, like, have to, like, you know, like, you walk down the street. If I got my hair down, it's like that guy looks like a musician or, like, somebody. Like, that kind of thing. You know, it's like, looks are important. I know that I dress like shit. You know, like, I don't dress like shit when I'm on the stage. But, like, you know, I'm home. <laughs> I know that I'm doing this. I should probably do it, do it, do it better. But anyways, I'm not like, I don't know. I'm just not into the style. Sorry. <laughs> All right. We got a bunch more from Matt coming up and it looks like some more stuff. I mean, all stuff that I've not heard before and including another new band that I know of, but I've not heard. So this will be super interesting. I'm not going to say who it is yet. Some potential prog kind of business and then um another hacking haken i forget how to say it haken another haken coming up live cool all right awesome thank you guys i'll catch you in the next video